All right, everyone, welcome inside the Virtual Media Center here at the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational. I am here with the champions of this year's event, Mo and Aria Jutanagarn. If you have any questions for Mo and May today, please let me know in the chat function here so that I can call on you and ask you to unmute. We do ask you to stay muted until then. Um, I want to start by going back to the beginning of the day. What was the mindset as you guys headed in? Aria, I'll start with you. I would say um, last night, you know, we're talking about the flight, you know, because we have the flight tonight to Avion. We're talking about, oh, should we change, you know? So we end up with, like, not change the flight. And I told him, like, okay, then after the round, you're making sure you run fast to the car. We have to drive two hours, so we, we want to make the flight. And, you know, somehow just before the round, I just felt like, you know, I still feel not comfortable with my game. Because like yesterday is not my good day. But before we went to the tea, I walked to my sister and told her like, you know what more? Today, the goal is we're going to try to make birdie every hole. And I don't care if we both going to make bogey. But after that, if we make bogey, after that, try to make birdie again. And that's the goal today. So I told her and we agree to have the same goal. Moria, when you heard that from your sister last night, how, when did you start feeling the confidence that you both had out there today? When did it start feeling you were picking up that momentum again? Well, it's just like, you know, I feel like out there is like about momentum, of course. And um, we, we had a pretty good momentum at the start. And, um, you know, it's just more like supporting just, you know, I say it over and over again. And of course, I had a great support from my sister this week. Um, no matter what, you know, like she probably hit a few trees out there and, you know, but she still make a lot of birdie for me. So I forgive her and uh, we, we really enjoy it. <laughs> Before I open it up to questions, we've talked about all week how special this moment would feel for the both of you with your mom out there, your dog out there, your friends out there. Aria, how special is this moment for you? I would say it's really special. You know, like every tournament I won, she always with me. And when she won, I with her also. And, you know, doing when I play today, I just told myself, like, you know, this is going to be a great memory for us to win together. And I know she been she really want to win for like you know two or three years, and I, I really want to do it for her also, and you know and to share the moment together, like to be able to win together. All right, I'll open it up to Steve first. No tears. You guys, when, when each other wins, the other is a blubbering mess. But this time there was no there were no tears between you two. Uh, is it is it different? Does the is the feeling different? I have a tear when she hit in the water. <laughs> On the last hole, I'm like, Mo, come on. She's like crying. <laughs> um, I will say maybe because we we don't know how I mean, we don't think it's like really close and, you know, we need to make birdie or keep it going. And all we, th all we think is just like we really enjoy every moment out, out there on the course. And we're not really thinking about winning the tournament much. And, you know, we just have a bit excitement on the last hole, you know, especially when she hit her first shot. So Now, have you guys, were you guys looking at leaderboards throughout? Did you know where you stood? Duba. I, I see it a little bit, but I just felt like, you know, if I keep doing like with, you know, like what I'm doing, just keep committed and just what we always say, like, you know, I feel like, you know, everything is, is going to take care of himself and, and it did. May that last putt on 18, was that a putt that you thought you could make, were trying to make, or what was the, what was happening there? Um, basically, after she hit her first shot, you know, we talk about, like, oh, do you want to hit another one? And we thought, like, you, you shouldn't hit, you know. And then when I saw my putt, I'm like, you know what, i just making sure I make two putt. Otherwise, I'm going to make her go back and hit from the tee. So I don't want that to happen. So I told myself, self, like, making sure you make two putt. And I just make the putt, so yeah. Oh, that's great. And and la last one for me. Are you gonna make the flight? No, no. <laughs> we have to change the flight. We're just gonna change the flight yeah. for tomorrow. Okay. All right. We'll open it up to Austin. Austin, if you could unmute yourself, please. Hi there, uh, Mo and Aria. Thank you for taking some time for us. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, 
And to a similar question, um, Ari, the, the, the putter was working really well uh, for you today. Um, just what, what was going right for you? I mean, it, it seemed like anything um, that, that wanted to roll, it was going in. Um, so just from your perspective, what, what was going so well with the flat stick today? I would say, you know, with the putting, it's more like when one of one of us, like some holes, you know, make par already. So we kind of just go aggressive with that. And with, <clears throat> sorry, just feel like, you know, no fear because, you know, some holes already make par. So I feel like I can go aggressive with that. Well, you said on the, the 18th green, you know, thank you for my sister for, for making uh, you know a bunch of birdies, sixteen birdies. You made ten in your own right. What was going? What was going well um, for you personally? Um, and to that point too, what is about what is it about best ball that that the two of you just seem to really enjoy by shooting two fifty nines um, in this tournament? I feel like you know for the best ball, it's like. I feel like we never give up because you're always gonna have a chance. Like even you know. I hit a bad shot and I know she's gonna get it. And even like if she doesn't hit a good shot and, and I try to, you know, get got her back. And that's I think that's how um baseball is like, you know, make everyone play a lot more aggressive and, and just, you know, very enjoy out there because you know you're gonna be a lot more aggressive and, and someone gonna, you know, help you. If you could take me through some of your conversations on the course, I don't need to know like the nitty gritty stuff, but um, you know, just, what, what were the two of you talking about? You know, just throughout your throughout the round, was it just kind of not, maybe not focusing on golf the whole time? Was it focusing on golf the whole time? What was that? What was your guys' interaction like um, throughout today's round? Well, most of the time when we're on the golf course, we don't really talk about golf. But today, it seems like we talk a lot more. About I'm golf, golf. <laughs> uh, but it's just more like I kind of keep complaining about my putt isn't going to the hole, you know. And she keep making putts, and I'm like, oh, she gonna beat me because she like last time we trying to call who would make more birdies and steal me, you know. This time steal her, but it's okay, you know. Thank you for that too, and um, <laughs> you know, it's just like I, I'll say we we talk a lot more about golf, but we try to calm each other down and like just say. We got this. <laughs> yeah. You know, throughout the round, we saw a lot of fist bumps and high fives. Um, but then the two of you walked off arm in arm um, on the 18th green. Uh, how special is that moment for the both of you? I would say, I mean, this is the, the best moment for me because, you know, we won together. We help each other to win the golf tournament. And I know it's like we, we got through so much stuff this week because sometimes I'm, I'm worried, I'm nervous to play. And sometimes she had the same feeling. So I know it's with pretty like hard week for us. And you know, the way we, we play, I, I'm just so proud of her. And we, you know, gave a lot of high five because like a lot of part, a lot of shot that I felt like so tough. And I know what she, exactly what she feel. Some shots she not feel comfortable, but she still have a like really breath to do it. So I'm just really proud of her. Last question for me, uh, just the overall week, um, being here in Midland, how, uh, what, what could you say about this experience this week? Well, it's always a great experience to come back here in Midland. Um, you know, the golf court is very nice, very nice town, and, you know, we love coming back here. Um, and also, we had a very good moment together here, and, you know, it seems like it's one of our favorite places to come. You know, like every time when we look at the schedule, like starting the years, you know, this one gonna be the one we we going for sure. So we just make the schedule to make this, you know, to make us like be able to play this one. So this event is really special for us. Awesome! Thank you both for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Austin, Beth, Ann. If you'd like to unmute yourself, please. Nick, congrats, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you again. Um, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> um, May. Oh no, Mo. I mean, this question is for Mo. Um, May snapped a, a, a victory drought earlier this year uh, in Thailand. Uh, what does it mean to you to end a drought as well? 
Um, you know, like of course, um, every every victory or every one, she like you know, it's always like make me happy also, and especially like you know, this week we able to do it together. It's just like really um, special for for us, for both of us. Were you um, frustrated at the length of time it took to get to number two, or were you patient? Muan mo na hiat na. I'll say yesterday she made me very frustrated, cause like, <laughs> <laughs> cause like yesterday she was like she come up and she's like oh, I don't really feel good and then she's like other than you know it's so many holes that she kind of lead me somewhere I'm like are are you sure like we should be here or something like that but you know it's it's happened and but today she's she show up like different person and you know that worked. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Well Thank played. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Beth Ann. Uh, Kent, um, if you'd like to unmute yourself, please. Bing and Mo, you both mentioned yesterday that you had things you needed to work on in your game. Was there anything you did after play yesterday that showed up in your play today? I would say most thing is attitude. You know, like yesterday, I'm, I'm really worried. I'm scared. And I, I felt like I pulled her back. And, you know, if she not play well because of me. So today I just, you know, came up with a better attitude. Like, you know, I'm just going to go play golf, have fun, enjoy every moment with my sister. And like what I said before, you know, the goal today is just try to make birdie at every hole. Well, was there anything in particular you worked on as well? Um, for, for me, actually for us, like, after we finished yesterday, it's more like a commitment, you know, like out there is not like, it doesn't mean we hit a, you know, bad shot or something we really have to work on. But it's just like about commitment, like, you know, when, when I had a good commitment, then we should have a good result. And you both have the pink ribbons on with Grace area. It was mentioned you talk with Pete every night. What were you two talking about and how much was she on your mind this week? You know, I've been talking to Pete like every night, and you know, he, he have to get like get through a lot of a lot of thing, and yeah, baby get better, but you know, we we still continue like praying for for her, and you know, he give me the best support. You know, he never show me like his sadness, and I you know at the same time I just want to come out and you know play well for him also because I don't want him to worry about me. And yeah, we did a good job, you know, we done it. And, you know, just please like continue praying for Gracie. And you mentioned how important it is for you to stay present on the golf course. How challenging was it this week with that in the back of your mind? You know, it, it was tough for me, you know, like when, when my, you know, my caddy not here with me, but I know the most important thing, like what I said, I just want to keep him not don't don't have to worry about me, and take it take care. You know his daughter, and that you know I can take care of everything out here. Thank you. Just a couple to wrap up from me here. Um, did Pete say anything support wise going into today? You know he keep you know we keep telling him like we miss him because like last time when we hear. He carried for me, and we had so much fun, and we wish he here with us. And he just keeping, you know, he always put a smile on his face to make us happy. And he's always like, you know, give us the best support. And he keep telling us like, you got this, you know, go, go win for Gracie. And yeah, and we did. Yes, yes, you very much did. <laughs> Mo, you both will be taking this momentum into the European swing and the and for you area into the Olympics. What does this do for your confidence, Mo, heading into the next few weeks of competition? Well, I just say earlier this week it's like perfectly for us to like, you know, practicing our commitment and do what we wanna do and, you know, just have fun and it's it's very it's very good, you know, like feeling walking out of you know, this week and hopefully, um, you know, like just I'll keep that momentum and, and just, you know, keep working, keep working on it. Aria, what does an event like do 
uh, like this do for your confidence as you head through your swing of events? I would say, you know, most of the time I have, like, I'm struggle to have, like, good commitment when I have, like, so much pressure and thinking so much about, about the outcome. And, you know, I've been learning so much, like, especially yesterday when I play with her, I feel like I have more pressure because I don't want her, you know, put her in a bad spot or, you know, make a lot of bad swing and you know she's gonna be end up in the trouble, so that that teach me a lot because like the only thing I have to focus is like you know what is under my control, and you know I really have to be present and have good commitment, and after that you know, is will is will take care of himself. And then last one for me, you have a plethora of wins on your resume, two uh, major championships as well. But where does this win with your sister kind of stack up? on your resume of wins. Oh, what's that mean? Oh, it just means a lot of wins. Oh, a lot of wins. So yeah. where does this one rank in your... Oh, what? It's okay, we just got a cell phone running. Uh, where does this one uh, rank on your list of wins, Ooh. winning with your sister? It's a tough one, you know. Um, I would say gonna be, yeah, the top one, you know, because like, Every tournament, you know, we, we spend, like, she always with us, with, with me. And this time, even more special because we win together. So, so far, this one, the best one. Yep. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you topped uh, some major championship victories. Nice. Well, this does this one beat L.A.? Yeah, very close. <laughs> really, really close, yeah. But we... Tied we, for the lead. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, but um, I just I just really enjoy every moment this week. All right. Thank you both Thank and you. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.